Abstergo, you're telling me that the world's largest conglomerate is a front for an evil organization that wants to control us? Actually, that makes perfect sense. No wonder I can never finish the game. Hello, and welcome to Visions of the Past. This is an Assassin's Creed lore podcast. My name is Andrew, and I'm grateful to see that you have found this podcast. Today we're going to talk about Charlotte de la Cruz and where you can find this character within Assassin's Creed and to her life up until the end of 2016. Charlotte's story is found within the pages of the Assassin's Creed comics titled Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed Uprising, though she is also mentioned in an email within Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Her name is the French feminine form of Charles which is derived from an old Germanic element that means free man, while de la Cruz is a Spanish surname meaning of the cross. Charlotte was born on November 14, 1992, in the Bronx of New York City. Shortly after, her father would disappear and she would be raised by her mother. Growing up, she would idolize her grandmother, Florencia, even though she wouldn't be a constant in Charlotte's life. As a child, she would watch her family struggle to pay her uncle's medical bills, after his insurance claim was denied, almost to the point of bankruptcy. This would lead to a distrust of big business, though she would eventually go to college in upstate New York, accumulating her own large student loan debt. Shortly after she graduated college, she would move to San Diego to, and start employment at Malta Banking Corporation, which happened to be the same bank she owned her student loan debt to. In December of 2015, she would take an interview with WorldShare, where she failed to impress the interviewer with a bold proposal to cut funding to underdeveloped nations in favor of more democratic ones. That day, she would illegally divert $10,000 from a real estate developer's bank account to that of an elderly woman who was having trouble affording her daughter's medical bills. After work that night, she would be greeted by Xavier Chen and Galina Voronina, assassins who were interested in Charlotte because of her sympathies with the Order and her interest in conspiracy theories. But what they most importantly needed her for was because of her ancestry. After agreeing to go with them, three Templars would knock on the door saying that they were from a world share and wanted to talk. Xavier and Galena would take care of them, but Charlotte would be knocked out when she failed to jump from her balcony to an adjacent roof. When she woke, she would meet Cody Adams and learn a little bit more about the Helix system that she had enjoyed so much as well as the Animus itself. After explaining why the assassins were interested in her, seeking the validity of another assassin's possible turn to the Templars, through her memories of her ancestor Thomas Stoddard during the Salem Witch Trials, to see if what the assassin was telling Xavier was true. While reliving the memories, Charlotte would be spoken directly to by Dorothy Osborne, who was being controlled by the Isu Consus. Consus would tell her to find ones with greater knowledge with the intent for her to find the organization known as Erudito. Galena and Xavier would argue about moving ahead with the mission or spending more time to research the memories. Deciding on compromise, Charlotte would be loaded into the van to spend time within the Animus while they moved forward. Charlotte would deduce through the memories that Joseph, the assassin in question, was trying to lure the Templars, leading Xavier and Galena to rendezvous with him. But, feeling uneasy, Charlotte would return to the memories of Thomas Stoddard to find out that Joseph had more than one ancestor in that time period, and that he was truly betraying the Brotherhood. Infiltrating the building using techniques that Cody thought came from the bleeding effect, Charlotte would find that Joseph had drowned Xavier and was going to kill Galena after breaking her leg. After Joseph monologued about his reasons for defecting, a bomb went off that Joseph had set earlier, allowing Abstergo guards to rush the area. Charlotte would help Galena escape and would find that an employee Charlotte had knocked out to infiltrate the building had died because he couldn't reach his asthmatic inhaler. Once reaching the van, Galena would order Cody to contact their leader, Gavin Banks, to send a team to Salem, but Charlotte would say that that was unnecessary as Joseph didn't tell them where Dorothy was buried. The trio would escape to Mexico, where Galena would notice that one of the people looking at her broken leg was pulling a pistol and would kill him. The other, claiming not to know what was going on, 
would be knocked out with Cody, Galena, and Charlotte moving across the street. After a short conversation, Charlotte would be reminded of what Kansa said, leading to her searching the dark net for the hacker group Erudito. After finding out about a meeting that was closest to taking place, Charlotte also found that there would be a password. The password would be the answer to the question, what does the cute fish dust say? Charlotte had Cody put her back in the animus because it reminded of her of what her grandmother used to call her. And I apologize for the mispronunciation of this name, but it is Pishtaco, a mythological figure within the Andes Mountains of South America, a nickname she apparently shared with an ancestor that was alive during the fall of the Inca Empire. Spending two hours in the animus, Charlotte would relive the memories of a Chakis Quilla. Charlotte would be kicked out to allow the animus to recharge. This was when Galena told her that they found the Templar Garcia Lopez, who would lead them to Joseph. Charlotte would refuse the mission, not wanting to be part of a kidnap and torture, and believing that finding Aruto was more important. Galena ended the argument by telling Charlotte that if she refused, that she would destroy the animus. During the mission, Charlotte would get made, which frustrated Galena to the point that she would lash out and ordered her to watch the van. Instead, Charlotte would re-enter the Animus. This session would end up frying the batteries of the Animus and upsetting Galena for ignoring her orders. After going out to find new batteries, Charlotte would stop mugging and then realize that she was being followed by Galena, who would tell her that Cody had been kidnapped by the Mexican cartel, showing Charlotte his ear for proof. During the rescue attempt, Charlotte would be shot in the foot after being cornered by the cartel leader. Shortly after, the Templars would arrive, taking out the cartel. After a standoff where Charlotte would threaten to kill herself, believing the Templars thought she was special, a deal would be struck, allowing Cody and Galena safe passage from Mexico, and Charlotte taking the Templars to the Rudo meeting. Reliving more of Cuba's memories, Charlotte would learn the password was Don Gonzalo Pardo, and then she was prepared to turn herself over and when she was prepared to turn herself over to the Templars, she found that the cartel attacked them as part of a deal from Galena. Arriving in Buenos Aires, a man bearing a sign with the password on it showed them to their Erudito contact, Charlotte's grandmother, Florencia. Spending a few weeks in an Erudito hive, the assassin team would attend a meeting where Florencia stated her plans to turn Erudito into more of a militaristic group by training field agents and building hive bases across the world. Opposed by DeWalt, who felt that staying in the shadows was best, Charlotte would suggest that they find a compromise. But they would be informed by Guernica Maneo about the Phoenix Project, an ex-goal to resurrect Juno. DeWalt would call for a vote of no confidence against Florencia, which would be held an hour after finding out about Juno's planned resurrection. Charlotte would talk to Florencia during the interim trying to figure out exactly what her mission was. Florencia would tell her that they originally thought Consus had only spoken to a young assassin, Giovanni Borgia, when he was very young, but not believed that Consus had communicated with Giovanni more than once and thought that he might hold a hidden message. When asked if the Templars already had this message, Florencia would show Charlotte a memory from Giovanni and asked if she could tell what he was pointing at. When Charlotte said she could not, Maneo would reply that they believed it was a false memory and that the Templars did not know about another encounter because Giovanni couldn't remember it. After finding out that one of Charlotte's ancestors had been with Giovanni twice, she told Florencia that she wanted to know more about their family. She told Charlotte that it wasn't time and that she had to focus on Consus. After talking to Maneo about the possibility of the vote going against Florencia, Charlotte would talk to Galena about helping her keep Florencia in power. Galena would refuse, reminding her of their mission to find Joseph, but Charlotte would suggest that they had a bigger mission in stopping Juno. Attending the meeting, Galena would refuse to say anything, forcing Charlotte to stand up and address Erudito herself. Stating that she understood their reluctance and that doing so would lead them to direct opposition of the Templars, ending with a suggestion that it wouldn't be enough and that they should merge with the Brotherhood of Assassins by concluding that either group could not beat the Templars on their own. While Galena would object, Charlotte would make a proposal since Maneo had already found Joseph. She would find Consus for Erudito. 
while Galeno would hunt Joseph with Erudito's field agents, proving value of Florencia's plans. While Galeno was gearing up to leave for Somalia, where Joseph was hiding, Charlotte would ask her not to kill him, as she felt there was something more to him than violence. When parting, Galeno would tell her to be careful, believing that everyone in Erudito would be eager to help her, and that she believed in her and how she had grown. As Charlotte would prepare for her mission, Florencia asked about a stress test that Charlotte underwent. All was fine, save for a spot on her foot where she was shot by the cartel leader and then stabbed in the same spot by the cane of the Templar leader, Ortega Sanchez. Charlotte would explain how the spot came to be and that she had dismissed it as nothing had happened. Florencia would chastise her, stating that Charlotte could have been injected with nanotrackers or some sort of slow-acting poison. After apologizing, Charlotte would be encased inside a dome around the Animus, which would scan her for the next two hours. During the scan, Florencia would explain how the merger was dependent on both Galena and Charlotte's success. Cody would contact Charlotte, tricking the machine into thinking that it ran a full two hours, and told Charlotte that he thought that Moneo was hiding something, as it appeared that Charlotte's ancestor, Hiram Stoddard, never mentioned Consus after witnessing him. As Charlotte relived Hiram and Giovanni's confrontation in 1516, Cody remarked that he believed something was wrong with Hiram's mind and that he thought Maneo knew it, stating that he dug up information about Hiram, telling Charlotte that by 1516 he became bitter and ruthless, earning the nickname Bloody Hiram, but that unlike his descendant Thomas Stoddard, his behavior came out of nowhere and that Cody thought Hiram's mind was a bad place to be, stating that something happened to Hiram when he met Consus, and that all Erudito wanted was answers, not caring what happened to Charlotte in the process, as long as they got their answers. After reliving Hiram and Giovanni's confrontation in 1516, Charlotte stated nothing of importance was within that memory, only references to a meeting that happened in 1515. This would lead Florencia stating that all their data stated that Consus appeared in 1516, where Cody would express his distrust for both Erudito and Florencia. Maneo came into the room to get Florencia, and after she left, Charlotte would go back into the Animus, reliving Hiram's memories from 1515. Cody would eventually pull her out, stating that her vitals were going haywire, which would lead to an argument between Cody and Florencia about how Charlotte could get long-term damage without a break. Charlotte would break the argument, stating that she wanted to see the memory of the last time Hiram and Giovanni saw each other in 1515. Cody would protest because of it being a bad parting and that her system doesn't need that kind of stress. But Charlotte would re-enter the Animus and notice that it was a false memory. After another argument between Charlotte, Florencia, and Cody about what pushing through to find the truth could do to Charlotte, Charlotte would decide to rest and then she would try to find the truth. Charlotte would be able to find the truth of the memory, and with doing so, Consus would speak directly to her through Giovanni and inform her that to stop the Phoenix Project, she would have to let the wolf dwell within the lamb. After emerging from the Animus, Charlotte would find that the hideout was being attacked by the Templars. A short dispute would follow about what they should do next, which led Charlotte to realize that Hiram's real mistake was turning his back on his family which led her to tell Cody and Maneo that she was going with her grandmother to the servers. While Florencia uploaded the data, Cody and Maneo would plant explosives. When Florencia insisted on finishing the upload after the explosives were planted, Charlotte asked why, which prompted Florencia to state that everything they knew about the Phoenix Project was in the data, as well as her theory on how the Templars retrieved the island's location and that they probably had been compromised by a mole. After a gunfight, Florencia would drop the data, which Cody would retrieve, stating that Charlotte was right and that it was a war they had to win. After stating this, Cody would be gunned down, shocking both Charlotte and Florencia. In her grief, Charlotte would blame both herself and her grandmother for Cody's death, and during their escape, Charlotte would tell Maneo that she was coming and didn't want the Templars to find Cody's body, saying her goodbyes to him while taking his phone to destroy it. While heading to boats on the south side of the island, the hideout was located on. Charlotte found it strange that they weren't being followed, which Florencia stated that she chose this path for that reason, and that without their phones or other tech, the Templars couldn't trace them. This led to Charlotte to remember that she 
didn't finish the scan and that Sanchez did plant something inside her. This led Charlotte to wanting to double back and to protect themselves and that the cave they were approaching was a trap. After Florencia continued to insist that the cave was safe, the rest of the group would agree with Charlotte and start to double back, though Charlotte would stay behind for a distraction. Once her grandmother offered to stay, Charlotte told her about her mistake, prompting Florencia to berate Charlotte for not finishing the scan and calling her an embarrassment as a granddaughter. Charlotte would apologize and state that she would make it up to them even if it costed her her life and that the rest of the group needed to go and let her fix her mistakes. After making her way into the forest, Charlotte would end up running to the edge of a cliff where she would be cornered by the Templar agent Whitaker, who wanted the rest of the assassins. But after a brief fight, Charlotte would be able to knock him out with a tree branch. She would then be confronted by Sanchez and two other Templars, but after a brief exchange, a helicopter would show up and fire on the Templars. Charlotte, realizing it was an assassin rescue team, would notice that there was no place for it to land and would leap off the cliff to the helicopter, barely managing to get on board with the help of Galena and Maneo. After taking her seat, Florencia admitted that Charlotte was right about the boats and about the Templar trap, and because of her, everyone there was alive and the data was safe. This brings us to the end of 2016 within Charlotte de la Cruz's life. I want to thank you for your time. Please feel free to subscribe to the podcast, and you can find me at Twitter at visions underscore AC. Until next time, my assassin friends, make sure to follow the creed, and to those Templars listening, may the Father of Understanding guide you.